now and in this video we will learn um, the different variables and these types like you know in python um you cannot write a variable with a number like an example one you cannot write like this you know the variable name it could be apple um equal to one um you can do like this and by convention like you know the, all the variable names uh with the lower case like you know and you can do like orange you know i mean this way like you can write your variable names this is the variable names and you're assigning the value with equal sign with one and unlike um, other language um the name could be the camel case which is like this you know uh, you can do it like you know why python convention is like this like you know plus two and another thing very important like you know you cannot uh, write uh, like in or at least these are the pythons default by python use those names like you know so you cannot use those name as in um a variable name and um, so to make sure you just remember this um if you write and you um you cannot assign um or, or with this name like you know um another thing um another uh, thing you can just remember like you know let's say if you uh, put the, the x as in um and if you do like x equal to one it doesn't look great like you know though you can do like this but the convention like you know if you do one which looks great and which looks good like you know i mean by readable by read like you know anyone can read your code and they can say okay it's a nice way of watching code and um Another thing you can um, do, like you know, if you just put n equal to one, I mean, on it, but if you do like, excuse me, uh, anyone be number equal to one, which is readable and anyone can read what is n mean, one means in here. Um, another thing, uh, the the. The Python, you can change. Um, let's say an example. Um, if you if you do um, variable to one, and you can if you do again the same variable name equal to the string. And now the variables they change they, they change their the types like you know it was at first it was integer now it's it's a string so um if I if I print now print number I can't even write number spelling mistake if I do like this and if I run the program you will see one but you see, as I said, like, you no, know, it's change, like, you no, know, Python variable can change anytime, like, you know, and these are the valid uh, code, like Python valid code. So make sure, like, you know, you, when creating a variable, you should follow the best patterns. You should follow, like, you know, um, another very important to remember, um, I mentioned before as well, um, you cannot write variable name as an if else, else those things like nor to also all this stuff like you cannot write and uh, just remember this. Mm. And you can easily find out like you know what type of it, uh, what type of uh, this variable contains like the value. Uh, let's say if you just um, 
uh, if you just write number equal to 100 and if you just um, in what well, you can see it will show the number is integer as you can see here um, it's this number is integer value is holding like it's integer value so you can easily see like you know um, I just need to save uh, I should have saved earlier just um, save these here yeah. names or py if you can do dot py or without it it doesn't matter um another very important um thing is in python it has none value um other programs it is called null um but in python it's called none let's say if i do write um number equal to none and if i print now print number number if you just run the program you can see number equal to none because i have assigned none so it's on they will print nothing so it's pretty much like you know the naming conventions and variable assigns and stuff like you know so the make sure you should follow the best practice like you know python convention i gave you the link like you know pap8.org like you know where you'll find all the details like you know how to uh, write you know the variable names you know so see you in the next video thank you so much thanks bye bye